In case closed news. Case, case closed. Close. Submitted by Smoke Alarm Beep. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> or it's beep. Yeah, oh, yeah, that one. When you need new batteries? Oh, beep. yeah. The fuck is that? Fucking yeah. bird? They conserve it by. And then I, re I replace it and it still does this shit. Really? Yeah. It sounds like good then. Maybe you're like a sneaker dead. against the fucking. Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you use the old battery. Yeah. Probably. A used hot dog napkin helped crack a 26 year old murder cold case. A uh, uh, used hot dog napkin? Yep. There's DNA on that mofo. Yep. yep. Oh. Yep. So well, then that's it. We're done. Evidence. Case closed. Wow. How about that? Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, so hot to we got him. That was fun. <laughs> Next episode. What is this, a weekend scramble? We did two other topics? Yeah. <laughs> it's off the record. <laughs> hey, Bart, you ever been Less snowboarding? 40 seconds. No? Yeah. Same. Okay, that's the end of weekend scramble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, so this dude, he's a hockey dad. His name is Jerry. He was tracked by prosecutors. Like, he was tracked by. Prostitutes? Sorry, not prostitutes. <laughs> I was gonna say prosecutors, but that doesn't make sense. Oh, By police sure. officers, oh. or detectives, right? Investigating this. <laughs> and so they followed him to a hockey game, and after he ate a hot dog, he wiped his mouth with the napkin, threw it in the trash, they waited till the coast was clear, grabbed the napkin, and tested it with uh, like his DNA, right? And so with this DNA that was found at the scene of a crime, of a murder, Back in 1993, there was a stabbing of this woman named Jeanne Ann. Jean Ann. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> right? Am I tripping? Jean Ann? Maybe Jean. Too bad about the murder? Too bad a better name. Jean Ann. Jean Ann. Jean Ann. AKA Jeannie. Jeannie. Oh, there we go. Jeannie. Yeah, so she was she was 35 years old. And she got murdered. Her. She got murdered. She so, got So That's back so then, Jerry was 27 years old. And they were saying that this killing was especially violent because there were even stab wounds in the body after she died. Like she was already dead and he kept stabbing. How do you how did they know? I don't know. I was wondering that, is that crazy, too. Yeah. And then so it turns out this fool left his DNA all over the place. He came all over? He did. Oh because she God. was a prostitute. Oh apparently. It's always the prostitutes. I know why he or I know how he did it. He probably killed her. And then he raped her. And then after he was done raping her, she had rigor mortis and it freaked him out. Ah! He fucking stabbed her three or more times. Or while he was having sex, he was stabbing her. Ew. Whoa. Oh, hate fucking. That's real hate fucking. Yep. So what happened after this, <clears throat> after he killed her, police were called to the building because a tenant saw water coming from the apartment. And then that's when police found her dead body in the shower wearing only socks and the water was running. And so oh um, they're saying she had dozens of stab wounds. Oh. So he did it at her apartment? Yes. Yeah, for that some reason, I was picturing like the woods or something. No, 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 her apartment. Sorry, did I not mention that? No, I think my brain was just going wild. Um, yeah, so then they were saying that there, were, there was DNA on the bed comforter, a towel and a washcloth and a shirt that had a blood stain. Uh, no, there was also he a blood stain on the sink. Everywhere. There was blood and cum, I guess. Blood and cum. So he had his own blood. He was bleeding too. I From think a knife so. Fight maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, uh, that sucks, man. That's so then soft. they had. They collected the DNA, but obviously, like you know, they couldn't link it to anyone because he just got away clean, and he wasn't a suspect or anything. So then. Um, that's when they re revived the case back in 2015, and then they sent it to the State Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, or BCA, and then also a private DNA company. And then that's when the F FBI ran the sample through an online genealogy website last year. 23 of me. Don't do that One shit. That's, that's how that they shit. get that's you. That's how they fucking get you. Ooh. Yeah, and so that's when someone related to him submitted DNA to these websites oh. or one of these websites and then that's when they were able like it it like you know alerted yeah. authorities like hey there's a match here and so they were able to pin it <clears throat> down or like narrow it down to this dude well, that's good. why they followed yeah. him to that hockey game exactly. wow. so they're going to get you they're going to wow. get you damn i know wow. that's pretty crazy that is 
nuts. How many other people did he fucking kill? That's right? what I want to know. I know. Because if someone is that crazy yeah. where they fuck the shit out of someone, kill them. It's not the first time. It's not the first. I've no, seen the Ted happened. Bundy tapes. I know, now I'm an, I'm an expert at this too. Mm -hmm. And I know <laughs> that as when you have extra violence against someone that you have killed, it, you, it's probably personal and you probably knew this person. Well, and yeah, it's he was sexual. Her. Right, yeah, right. But not just like a, hi, I'm gonna fuck you and kill you now, but, but like a, there oh, was maybe some he sort was of like frequent. Shit. Yeah, maybe he was like, like her number one customer. A regular he, John. And he wanted to like, like come on, I could save you. Oh, then she got married. If he was like Ted Bundy, then he developed a fetish for horror sex. Horror sex. Yeah. Like oh. scary sex or. Oh. Like like body mutilation and sex. Oh, oh no. no, that's what it's called. Horse. No, I just made that one up. No, like, oh, like, that like, sounds legit, know, though. Putting fucking nipple rings with clampies. Oh, so it's like an extreme BDSM kind of murdery sort of thing. But yeah, he developed that fetish because I guess like it was really popular back then where there was like horror movies and then there was always this damsel that was like, oh no, and then she gets killed and shit. Oh. And he started associating that with like sex. So then that would get him off and you would obsess. And he was like, fuck, now I really want to kill somebody and like have sex with them. Yeah. I just want to try it. Yeah. So. He liked it. Yeah, this is Jerry. And he had Jerry. to keep doing it. I, that's the thing. Yeah, Jerry. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's oh. something. Yep, right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, he looks like a crazy mofo. That's dead behind the eyes, dude. I know, right? He killed Jeannie before he was married, before he had any kids. And so Jeez. this was oh, like. Oh, shit. What? So afterwards he had a had a yeah he got wife. married yeah, and had kids. Family, so he was he like, was those, a hockey dad. Those days oh were lord. He's like I gave that up. I'm gonna clean up those straight and narrow. This was Jeannie. Oh damn. damn. She looked kind of scary though. She looks scary too. Yeah. She looks like a flow to me. Yeah. A flow. Because yeah. it's because of the hair, huh? Yeah. yeah. That hair Poor does lady. Look. Poor lady. I, I know. know. It's crazy. What would you do if that was your parents? Like, what would you do if you're like, you're, they were just like, hey, by the way, like we found all this like extenuating evidence that's like, hey, your parents are actually like serial killers. Like, I'd be like, that explains a do? lot, motherfucker. <laughs> Pretty huge. That destroyed. explains a yeah. lot. For you, yeah. Hell For yeah. For me, I'd be like, oh <laughs> my God. Would you do the Dios Mios? I did this, I mean, that's oh, close the enough. Clutch. Yeah. <laughs> the well, if, clutch. I was, if I found out and I'm like, uh, it doesn't really change too much. If yeah, if, if I haven't seen any other tendencies, like other serial tendencies. So you think that that would be like a compartmentalized, like, like separate thing from like the life and like memories and stuff that you knew from your family? Yeah, because I still feel like people have choice. So I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, they chose to put that behind them and they just oh. want to be regular. But if like I had other memories of every time my parents beat my ass, they pulled out like a guitar string like they want to put on my neck or something. I'm like. Damn. No, 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 no. I'm keeping Taika away from you. You know that thing that you said, epigenetics or something? Like how a person is when they make a baby, they can see Yeah, it at the state, so epigenetics is the state that you are in when you reproduce, you pass those genes on. So what if one of your parents was killing during that time Ooh. that you were made? Would things change in your mind? No wonder he No, didn't. because I never killed anybody. Yet. I know, but then what if you had some deep thoughts and that start to surface and you're just like, oh my God. But there's also free will. Yeah, that's right. There's also free will and choice. So I haven't, I haven't killed anybody. And I don't think I ever will. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. Would you still love your father? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty big of you. So we're saying it's his dad in this situation? Yeah. <laughs> cool, because this guy's yeah. a dad. Uh, I, I, yeah, it's just so, it's just, it's actually an interesting question, right? Because it depends like, on your childhood, right? Like if you had a badass childhood, you're like, what? I could never believe that, man. <laughs> thanks for the fucking bouncy room during my birthday, <laughs> man. It was like a you know, yeah. murder, like, like the children of El Chapo, for example. Yeah, yeah. Twin girls, I'm like, yeah. and then they each have like, according to testimonies and shit. These girls have their own guns, like their own like cute ass little pink gun and stuff. Yeah. Which is like, I guess you can see it from one way, but then knowing the stuff that they're accusing him of, I'm like, Dude, Escobar's son is super interesting. Like he, he talks about how his dad was this huge criminal, but then he's like, but I also loved my dad. So I have this weird thing right, yeah. where he's like, I know what my, about my, all the shitty things my dad did and it was fucking insane. But then I was just a kid yeah. Like a little kid, and I loved my dad. Yeah, and he was providing, and he was like being the best father, like for his 
And the kid didn't know shit. Or That's whatever, yeah. I saw them play soccer on the TV show. <laughs> yeah, he'd be right. So I know that they love and each it's other. One of the, and it's one of the cooler crimes. Yeah, it is. Because if your dad was like a pedo, that's oh, like, that why couldn't things. you? Yeah, like why couldn't you be a different criminal, Dad? Like why you gotta be that one? But Escobar was also a murderer, though, big time. Yeah. Like, like large scale too. <laughs> like, big like, time. Not just like a fucking one. what he did to Parliament and shit, and like yeah, walking through the long courthouse. Long. Fuck, dude, what they? I mean, what that kind for. of murder still kind of like glorified. Not like oh. this stuff. This is this different. is like serial killer. That's a little different. Yeah, they're both kind of movie sexy, though. Unfortunately. Well, this Unfortunately, one's this one's like before, psycho I killer. Yeah. I think Escobar has that like I'm a gangster like, Scarface appeal. He does. It's like that's a different yeah. type of appeal. Yeah. And it's not and it's horrible yeah. because it's, it's like the same thing. They are cycles like, in, it, in their own right. Because the body count on one hand is like way higher, but on it's like the association with like the the grossness of it is like totally different. Well, they also weren't staring into their eyes and jerking off their bodies. That's true. And stuff. There was like, no like sex. Escobar involved. was paying other people to do it, or maybe he'd take the gun and fucking yeah. pop somebody. But he he wasn't like. He wasn't the one going to the court and shooting all the judges and shit. I guess. He was yeah. paying for that shit. Yeah. But it was still his hand, it's yeah. still him. I think it's just as macabre, but it, yeah. but it's that's how people are. We're all right. weird. Yeah. Bart thinks it's just as macabre too, I just yeah. saw your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, well, thank you for not doing those things to me and giving me a best childhood that you, tr you could possibly try to give. True. If that was the case. There's a man called the Ice Man. He had two kids Ice. that he never beat, did any of that, but he also killed 200 people for the Jesus. mob. Holy oh, criminy. Oh yeah, I saw the documentary. But he would never lay a finger on his children. Right. He That's loves them. Good. They have that weird honor code. Yeah. It's such a strange thing. Like, I kill 600 people for the mob, but Never my children? children? Yeah, exactly. He said he'd even kill his wife? What? Or oh, he's like, wait, I remember talking about that. But he wouldn't that. kill his children. Did we though. talk about him on, in JK News? Couple times. Or he'd like, oh, like his son hits a baseball and breaks the neighbor's window, and he makes his son go to the neighbor and apologize and say they're gonna fix the window, but then he kills 200 people for the mob. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Shit like that, it's just like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. How do people's brains work? Cause I thought he would take his son over <laughs> and kill it. And then, Tell and beat the fuck out of the neighbor yeah. for having a window that's even breakable. Right, you'd think that. Yeah. But he's trying to teach his son right and all shit. Mm. Damn, that's that's wild. That is. Isn't that crazy? That's, that's sort cool. of weird code. Yeah. It's pretty cool. At least it stops with him. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty they damn cool. They live in a different world.